Travis at Barna Parts. I'm going to talk a little bit about our uh, mechanical power steering kits that we have for the uh, Viper and Sidewinder. Uh, we have a new kit out for the 2020, and we also have a revised kit now for the uh, 14 to 19. Um, so the 2020 spindle is completely different, so we had to design a new arm to attach to that spindle. Um, so when you're assembling it, this is basically you know how you're going to assemble. This would be a right hand side you know, when sitting on the machine. Um, so you can see the orientation of the arm. There is a left and a right on the arm, so you can't really mix them up. Um, the uh, there is a very small shim washer that goes in between the arm and the uh, the spindle where it attaches. And uh, in lieu of uh, cotter pin hardware, um, I've, I've come across these these nylock bolts essentially. So we're using a nylock bolt and also a nylock nut just for extra peace of mind uh, when you put this on that it, it holds and it isn't going to come off um, one thing to note the uh, the tie rod is a is a finer thread so the nuts are both 17 millimeter hex but they are different threads so when i ship the kits i i assemble you know the nuts on the bolt with the shim washer so just take note of that and, and don't mix them up um, one other change that we've made is we're now just utilizing the OEM ends. Um, they, you know, after a few seasons of running now, we've concluded that the OEM ends are, are more durable. Um, I've replaced, you know, a handful of ends for guys under warranty. You know, my, my supplier was warranting them for us. Um, <clears throat> so I was a little cautious initially with these kits because I wanted cotter pin hardware and everything, but, uh, you know, I think we're better off just using the OEM arms and and a new a new nylock nut when you assemble it. I, I do provide that new nut so you get a fresh bite on those nuts when you install them. Um, you know, the other thing to note too with the new design here is you know by mounting the arm on the bottom, uh, we're able to use a spacer and keep keep the tie rod essentially on the same plane as it was originally from factory. Uh, sold several hundred of these kits, you know, for the 14 to 19s, and uh, very, very, very small percentage. I, I'd say one or two guys thought they were experiencing some bump steer. Uh, I never experienced it. I had uh, talked to a number of dealers that were selling these kits, and they never had any complaints about it either. But when designing, I just thought, well, we might as well try and uh, incorporate, you know, keeping that same plane. So that's, you know, with this design, we're able to put this spacer underneath to get the tie rod up. So it's on the same plane as it was originally uh, from factory. So <clears throat> um, moving over to the uh, the 14 to 19 kit, uh, as I say, we, we redesigned that too. Uh, we were able to come up with a design for this kit as well that utilizes the exact same hardware as the, as the 20 kit. Uh, that way I can I can have one set of hardware that works for both both applications um, Again using the original OEM tie rod and we got the spacer to, to keep the tie rod on the same plane the small shim washer between the you know the plate and the uh, and the arm um, You know the assembly is the same I'm still gonna leave the written instructions up because that kind of goes through step-by-step -step how to install it um, but you know, just take note to the video as far as you know the assembly and how everything should look when you're when you have it installed. Um, still using the uh, the, the pre-bent tie rods or uh, pre-bent. You know, you have to compensate for moving you know moving this back farther. And uh, yeah, no, overall it's been a, a real good success. I've got a lot of guys that just absolutely love this kit. Uh, makes a dramatic difference in the uh, steering effort. And uh, if you've got any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me. Thanks.